breaking news. There's just been a deadly terror attack in Ranana in Israel. Many have been injured. One person is dead. I'm Albert Lewitton at the I-24 News headquarters in Tel Aviv. Here is what we know so far. This is in Ranana, a suburb just north of Tel Aviv. There are reports that as many as 17 have been injured. There is a report that some of them are children. It seems to have started from a stabbing, followed by a carjacking, followed by a ramming incident at a bus stop. A 70-year-old woman has been killed. A 34-year-old woman and a 16-year-old boy are in serious condition with head and limb injuries. Now, if you're familiar with this area, it's on the main road. It's Jerusalem Street by Al-Khuza Street. Reportedly, two men are under arrest. There is, however, a shelter-in-place order for Ranana. We're going to bring you the latest details as we get them. An I-24 news crew is racing at the scene. They'll be there shortly. We'll have a live report as soon as we get to them and we get connected. I'm joined in studio first uh, uh, with Amit Asa and also with Guy Azrael, continuing our live coverage. Uh, Amit Asa is a colonel, a former member of the Israeli Security Agency. And Guy Azrael is the I-24 News senior editor. Guy, what do we know so far as to what exactly happened? Right, so it took quite some time for the police to really understand uh, the situation on the ground. Uh, first, with the number of casualties, uh, we're talking about 18 Israelis who were wounded in this attack, among them eight school children who were just on their way home, just left uh, their school, were There's rammed. school right there on this, on right, this corner. They were rammed by this uh, terrorist uh, resident of Hebron who was arrested alongside his cousin who was with him. Obviously, the Shin Bet now will be investigating how did he make his way into Ranana, who assisted the two uh, other than uh, his cousin, who drove them, who gave them the, the guidance the information uh, uh, and the motivation to do this. Uh, uh, of course, um, we're talking about uh, an event that started with a carjacking of this elderly uh, woman. He is then rammed into this group of school children, was able to take over another car, rammed into more people in Ranan, and eventually a third car as well. So it took security forces quite a bit of time uh, to really understand the situation, not to mention to take care take over him and neutralize him. We do not know yet whether he's injured at all. How was he apprehended by the security forces for a long time? The residents of Ranana were instructed to remain in their homes. The school children were asked to remain in school until uh, the word came out that this event is over for now. It seems like uh, the perpetrators of this attack are, have both uh, been arrested and police will still investigate how this entire uh, attack unfolded. In case you're just joining us, Ranana, this is live pictures now of Ranana. You should know that Ranana is about 25 minutes uh, north by car from Israel, maybe from Tel Aviv, maybe even less than that. It's a suburb of Tel Aviv. There are many Americans who made Aliyah, who, who live in this area of Ranana. Um, uh, it's American. It's basically an American enclave, high-tech uh, American enclave. There's a lot of French speakers as well, French who also made Aliyah uh, to Israel. So this is a very well-known area. Uh, I mean, this, this is sort of uh, this is sort of what is the fear of Israel, Israelis all over, that it comes into the heart of Israel. I think it's not a fear, it's a reality. And uh, we know uh, that a few days ago and also yesterday, um, uh, Ministry of uh, Defense uh, Gallant is starting to speak about uh, workers that comes from the West Bank to um, work in Israel, to give them permission to get into Israel, because we have to lower the, the pressure on the Palestinian um, a society.